What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part four of our series of my personal rig rundown. And what we're going to be doing today is looking at all my personal dive computers that I'm using for 2024. You're going to see a couple of the same ones that you saw in our last rig rundown series. However, I do have two new computers that I'm using and I want to kind of discuss why I've chose to go with those particular computers. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, as we can see, I've got a line of computers here. I've got several different wrist style computers. I've got a, a larger wrist style computer, and I'm still diving an air integrated console computer, and we'll kind of go over uh, what I use that for as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a line of computers that I swap out based off what type of diving I'm doing or if I'm just teaching or if I'm working, something of that sort. And then I've got some that I just wear if I'm diving and I don't really need a computer. Let's say you're 20 foot or less, you're going to be there for 20 minutes. You don't really need a computer for that. So, of course, I still got my trusty old Citizen Dive Watch that I wear for that. But with that being said, let's start over here on the left and see what computers I'm diving. Alright guys, starting over here on the left, we have the Mares Sirius, and this is a newer uh, computer. It came out in 2023. Uh, you can actually get this in two different color schemes. This is the black here, and of course I've got a silver as well. Uh, so you can get either the black or the silver frame on it. And you can get it with four different colors of straps. So you can get the blue that I've got here, you can get the black, you can get the red strap system, or you can get the teal system. So if you want to kind of, you know, color match to whatever color scheme the rest of your gear is, you can do that as well. Um, let's talk about why I've got two and why I chose to go with the Sirius. Well, as a diver who dives in multiple aspects, recreational, technical, hole and nine yards, I needed a computer that worked for everything. So I got the Sirius. I wanted a watch style that I could wear every day. I wanted something that was simple but had a complex feature built into it to where I could use it, say, for recreational and technical. I needed something that uh, was able to read Trimix. And so I went with it, of course. And of course, the biggest reason I went with it, they're affordable. They're really, really affordable computers that will do basically everything you need to do. It even has a built-in digital compass, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's really cool because now I don't have to walk around with a compass on my watch strap all the time. So I really like that as well. Um, the reason I actually have two though is I can use one as a primary, one as a backup for technical diving. Now the real reason I've got two, I got this guy at a really stinking hot deal. So that's why I got this guy. But I got this one right as soon as they hit the American market. Back then you could only get the black ones. So I got a black. It did come with a black strap. I really thought the blue popped. So I put the blue one on it. And then of course I got this during the 2024 uh, SSI renewal. This one came actually with a red strap. And of course I threw the black strap that came on this one on it red looks good but the blue pops and the black with the silver face really pops out but i love this computer it'll do anything and everything i need um, and it links it's blue linked or bluetooth directly to my phone so it'll download everything straight to the ssi app straight to the mares app and so it's a really neat feature that i like there too i can simply download stuff and i don't have to plug anything in basically as soon as i walk out of the water lay my phone down hit the button boom everything is transferred over and i really like it and of course i do wear a watch every day so this is a great option as well all right, next guy in the lineup, you guys will know exactly what this is. This is the same one that was from the previous rig rundown we did, um, or the last series that we did on the rig rundown. This is my Citizens 20th Anniversary Aqualand Pro Master here, and I still got two of these. I know somebody's going to say, but Brown, where's the orange one you had? Yeah, I still got it too. It's put away in storage. Uh, I'm actually saving this one and the other one for my daughters. Of course, my oldest daughter dives one day. She'll get this one. My youngest daughter, as soon as she starts diving, I'm going to give her the other one, uh, but but this is my go-to watch for every day and my go-to bottom timer for all types of diving. Uh, I wear this when I teach scuba. I wear this when I'm just diving for fun. If I'm diving in a scenario where I don't care about nitrogen saturation, i.e., let's say 33 foot to the surface, if it's something that I have unlimited bottom time on or unlimited no decompression time on, I don't need a computer. And a lot of times I don't dive with a computer. I dive with this uh, watch right here. What makes this watch so unique is the fact that it is a true dive watch. It's got a depth sensor over here on the side. It's got a water sensor to go into dive mode. It's got two depth um, readings on it. It's got a digital depth reading over here, and it's got an analog 
depth gauge over here. So if one fails, I still got the analog over here. It does have a log book, so it will log your dives. The only thing it will not do, which makes it, say, a bottom timer, is the fact it will not read nitrogen saturation. So once again, if I'm in a situation where I need to understand what my nitrogen, or need to know what my nitrogen saturation is, I'll wear a dive computer. If I'm not, this is my go-to. I love it for an everyday um, watch as well. And the great thing about this, the reason I love this thing so much compared to these two guys over here, of course, this is eco-driven, which means it is powered by light. So the light that is directly above me right now is charging this guy. One minute of light runs it for about 24 hours. And of course, if you wear it every day, just as a normal watch, you're going to have basically an unlimited time frame. It's never going to die on you unless, you, of course, you leave it in the dark for a couple of weeks. But uh, these guys over here, you actually have to charge these. And I'm not a big fan of charging things. That's another reason I got two. I can leave one on the charger, wear this one. As soon as it dies, throw it on the charger, pick this one up, and continue on. So, yeah, I absolutely love my Citizen Dive Watch. Of course, I got my little compass here. I always run a compass, too. But, yeah, that's my Citizen's Aqualand 20th Anniversary. All right, next up is my Quad Air, and this is nothing fancy. It's just a Quad Air dive computer. It is a recreational dive computer. Um, the last one that I had, you guys saw, had the red frame instead of the gray frame. Uh, I, I demolished that computer, so I wore it during a salvage job one time. It just got completely demolished, and I went to go replace it. Well, the red one, of course, was the SSI Pro version, and they're no longer available, so I just had to get a standard one back, and I love this computer. I'm actually going to be upgrading this very soon to the new Quad CI. That way it matches the Sirius, but I love this computer. It's a very large screen. It is super easy to use, very intuitive. The buttons are very large, so it's easy to operate underwater, and it's a simple screen. It gives you the basic information and yet it is the quad air version but you'll notice it's not paired with anything i don't use the air integrated version as a matter of fact the even these these are air integrated and i don't even use the air integrated version on them i just use a standard pressure gauge but um yeah i love this computer i did take the straps off as i do on most of mine and of course just put bungees on it that way i can get them over my dry suit cuffs things like that but i absolutely love it it's easy it's large it's it, that's all I can say about it. It's large, it's easy to see, and it's easy to use. So anybody can use these. Uh, it will do nitrox, of course, and it will do multi-gas, but it will not do tri-mix. Um, you can use this for technical diving. It's not ideal, but you can. It will walk you out of decompression. Um, but the new Quad CI, which I'll be replacing this with very soon, um, the new Quad CI will do tri-mix. And the, if you're not familiar with the Quad series, there's the Quad, the Quad Air, and the new Quad CI. And the Quad CI is nothing more than the Marius Sirius in this form. So it, it is a full tri-mix computer as well. But I love the Quad Air. I'll end up giving this to my oldest daughter here probably within the next few months when I pick me up a CI. But yeah, simple. I use this for all recreational style diving list of course is my Mares Puck Air and I've talked about this computer in the past. I know a lot of people are going to say with all these wrist style computers why do you still dive a console air integrated computer? Um, well it's for what I use it for. I use it for salvage work, public safety work, commercial diving and let's talk about public safety specifically. There are a lot of times I get a call out when uh, I'm in what's called a rapid deployment situation. So basically what that is, from the time you're on the scene, you have five minutes to splash. So in five minutes time frame, I have to put my gear together, strip out of my street clothes, put on my exposure suit, whatever it is, wetsuit, dry suit, throw my gear on, and splash in the water. In all honesty, it is difficult to do that. Even, even being an instructor in public safety, it's very difficult to even teach that skill um, unless you're in the perfect ideal environment, and we rarely are I, I could say we, we we never are in all honesty i don't have time to put one of these back on so i have to take it off to put my dry suit on and it, i don't have time to put these on this solves all my problems all my needs uh, basically it's already it's always attached i never have to worry about you know did i leave it at home is it in the truck is it my dive bag it's always attached and it, it's got every bit of information i need it reads pressure tells me depth tells me time tells me water temp it's got a logbook feature it's a one button operation computer i can literally just scroll through and if i need the screen that i need I don't have to say, well, what button does what? I can literally just scroll through, get the information, and it's easy to download. Plus, it's got a compass. 
Now, they do have a brand new Mares Puck Air computer out. I'm not going to be picking it up, and I'll tell you why. Currently, it does not have an attached compass. And why is that important to me? Well, the same reason that I use this over these. I don't have to put a compass on my arm. It's a one, one and done unit. It's very easy to use. It's always going to be attached to my reg, and I've got to have a reg to go diving. So there you go. That's it, guys. It's simply for commercial salvage and public safety work. I absolutely love this computer. I'll probably use it until it breaks, gets destroyed, or, of course, I can no longer get my hands on one. But, uh, but yeah, that's the Marius Puck Air Dive Computer. So there you go, guys. That does it for my computer edition of my 2024 rig rundown. Let me know down in the comment section below, do you use any of these computers? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? And let me know about the features that you like as well. Do you like the digital compass that comes with the series? Do you like the fact that the Puck Air has a new version? Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of these computers and about the features that you like and dislike. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. Stay tuned. Our very next video is going to be on dive mask. I'm going to show you all the dive masks that I'm using in 2024 and kind of explain what I use them for and what types of diving I'm using them for. But definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.